Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here in Jerusalem. So I just did a video uh, looking at GIS, um, GovMap actually is what it's called. It's the Israeli government's GIS system that is uh, freely available on the internet. You just need to go to govmap.gov.il in order to access it. And it is a really, really powerful tool uh, containing lots and lots of info. Now, um, if you kind of showed your average person GovMap, they might say, well, that looks like kind of a, something like Google Maps. And uh, the, the, the difference really between this and Google Maps is that there is just so much information. It's why it's called a geographic, geographic, I'm not sure, a geographic or geographical information system. And there, basically you have layers um, of information and you can create a layer as a registered user for your own access. Uh, but the layers are basically data layers um, maintained by public bodies, government bodies in Israel. And these are put onto the map because it's a lot more interesting to engage with uh, you know, data when it's presented on a map format. And uh, you can, we'll see some other really cool things that you can do uh, in, in a moment. So I've talked about before how you can, one of the, one of the layers um, in, in GovMap that you can manipulate is the layer of um, G of the cellular antennas, cellular connectivity. And that's really useful if you're trying to figure out, let's say, well, who is going to be, if I move to this neighborhood, who's gonna have infrastructure there? Now I've talked before about the differences between mobile operators and MVNOs, mobile virtual network operators, and that um, it's useful to know if you're using an MVNO, let's say like Rami Levy Mo Mobile, well, whose infrastructure do they use? And it really comes down to Cellcom, Pelophone or this company called PFI, uh, which is hot, serving hot and partner. So if I go into Jerusalem and uh, the lovely city of Jerusalem, and if I turn on the, uh, the layer for cellular, um, one, 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 one moment, it's, uh, it's not liking this, Ah, there we go. I can, turn, I can turn this on and now we're seeing all the antennas. That's what you're looking at here on the map. Now, um, it color coded so you can see each one, each company. This is uh, Pelophone. This is this company called PFI. Uh, PFI or I think it's PHI actually. Uh, PHI. Yeah, PHI and you see, see here, Mesheret et Hot ou Partner. And um, basically you can go into anyone and you can see the identifier, you can see where it is, you can see what type of antenna it is, you can see when it was last inspected, you can read an actual description of where it is. And very importantly, you see here at the bottom, Doa Shalosh Arba, you can see what it's broadcasting. This is a 3G and 4G antenna. <clears throat> now let's say I wanted to know how many, um, how many, excuse me, <laughs> antennas uh, there were in a certain area that had five, that were 5G capable. So then I could add a filter onto this antenna layer. So there's a CNoon button here. And uh, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I've got Technologie, Technologie o Chidur, which means broadcast technology. And there I can, let's say I wanna search for 5G, 5G, sorry, just five. Now the way they, the way they do it is that each they separate in the filter each, um, you know, if it's like a 5G antenna or a five and a 4G or and a five and a four and a 3G or a five and a four and a three and a 2G, they're all separate. So you just need to like click a little bit here. Five, 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 five and finally 5G only. And now what you're looking at is all the 5G um, and uh, cellular antennas in Jerusalem. This is where they are. This is who operates them. All the information one might want to know about 5G in Jerusalem. Now, uh, there is one more cool thing you can do. And I, I said I would just do this, do this video to showcase it. Say you wanted to know, well, how many 5G towers does Cellcom have in Jerusalem or in this, area. So what you can do then is click into this function um, and go for the boxing tool. And uh, what this allows you to do is you tell it firstly what layer, what layer we want to extract our data from. So we're going to extract data from the antenna layer. And next, how we want to, um, 
how we want to select the area. So we can do a circle, which is good for a radius, obviously. We can do a box, we can do a user-defined shape. I'm just gonna do a box for the simplicity of this demo. And I'm gonna just look at like kind of West Jerusalem-ish here for 5G and find all the antennas. Uh, now watch, watch in awe as it packages up the info. 407 antennas in that box. So that's how many antennas that it was able to find. Now that's a lot of antennas in that area. So that's like, this is like the, the spreadsheet we're gonna get here is gonna be like West Jerusalem antennas star studded directory. Um, it's all the antennas. Now uh, what you can do is in, under ODE, you can click on uh, you'd say uh, to export it to an Excel document. So I click on that and I will get download3.xls and now we can do some work in a spreadsheet editor as opposed to on the internet. So this is where, again, the power is really kind of coming to shine through and you can answer questions like, well, how many 5G antennas does Cellcom have in Jerusalem? Um, you know, you might, you, might, you might want to know. And of course, by the way, this video is being recorded on the upload date and therefore the situation might change drastically. Um, so just for the purpose of simplicity now, I've liberated all the info we had online for every single antenna. It has the identifier, it has the address, it has the, um, it has uh, whose authority it's under, Jerusalem municipality in this case. Um, it has the uh, do, 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 date of the last uh, periodic inspection what type of an antenna it is, I mean, everything. You can filter on absolutely all of this information and put your spreadsheet wizardry to work um, here. I'm just curious what this one is actually. Let me just take a quick peek. Oh, I think it even has like the license for a specific antenna. You can go through it one by one. Just just check. This is on the Sviva. Uh, this is on the website of the um, I'm not sure this is actually gonna work. Anyway, anyway, let, let's not go off on a wild, a wild tangent here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, and then, now this is the important bit, is the what type of an antenna is it? So you can see this has mopped up everything, your 2G, 3G, 4G antennas, your 4G or 3G only antennas. What I'm gonna do is just to simplify this uh, video, I'm just going to get rid of everything except for company and what type of antenna it is. And this is how you can, this is one way to count Cellcom 5G ter uh, towers in Jerusalem would be to, I'm just gonna use the, I'm just gonna use the um, auto smart filtering function here on LibreOffice calculator. And uh, I'm just gonna apply a smart filter. And now what I can do is filter only on, um, so you can see, it's showing me all the different options here, or you can't actually see that, but I'm able to, to search items for five. So there's five, four, and three. Um, there's also, uh, there is also actually one sec. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move, move myself, because this is kind of the uh, important part, you could say, of, the, of what I wanted to show. So, uh, you know, depending on what software you use, it'll be a bit different. I'm just gonna go for five, four, and three G, 5432, those are the 5G options that I'm seeing, which makes sense that they'd have some 5G on some four on some on some four and 3G antennas, and then on the like antennas that kind of do do it all, including 2G. Uh, so those are the two permutations it's found uh, throughout all of that area in Jerusalem. Um, so I'm just gonna filter only on those 5432 and 5, 4, and 3. And now we just got a list of all the 5G capable antennas in Jerusalem along with who operate them. And there's actually only, um, there are, let me just see one second. There are 42 of 407 records found. That reflects the state that it's an early deployment. Now, uh, you know, you can see basically there's uh, PHI have a number of them, Cellcom have a number of them, and Pelophone have a number of them. You know, there are more uh, easier ways to, to count, but we can just also use um, use this manner here. Okay, so I just unhid the counting, the counting uh, quick tool there in the bottom right. So uh, PHI, which is servicing hot and partner, 
um, in this. Now, this is just this box. It's not the official Jerusalem municipality boundaries, uh, but in this box of the 407, 407 or 400 or and something antennas, uh, PHI has 17, uh, Cellcom has this many, and Pelophone have this many. Cellcom has, that is Cellcom. Cellcom has 16, and Pelophone has nine. So that's basically how, how sort of straightforward it is to use the GIS tool uh, draw a circle um, or a box or a hectagon or a pent or whatever the word is for that custom geometric shape um, in order to um, analyze, uh, analyze an area of, of territory um, according to um, according to a layer that you that you're looking at in GIS in this case looking at the uh, looking at the cell phone deployment and the 5g deployment and I can see for a whole city, or for a neighborhood, or for just a little bit of a neighborhood, um, exactly how many 5G towers are in that city, and uh, who operates them, and which company, if I was looking to go with whatever company the most towers, um, with about one minute in a spreadsheet program, I could also find that out. So, hope that video was mildly interesting to anyone interested in technology in Israel, uh, and uh, particularly in subscribing to four 5G connectivity, um, and just, uh, yeah, uh, if you're interested in getting more tech videos from me, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube uh, channel.